Hi. Doctor Who today? Yeah, episode 9 of series 7. Yes. Finally getting through it. Feels like we've been doing this one a while, which we have. We yeah, have. <laughs> but we've had a few breaks because of the split seasons and doing other stuff as yes. well. Yeah. Anyway, we met the Ice Warrior. We singular. Yeah, last one time. Ice Warrior. Yes. Last time. we Yeah, we met one Ice Warrior. Very interesting. Good to have them back after so long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it was it was a good episode, just generally. We're doing a lot of Second Doctor era stuff this season. Again, I think I, I'm imagining this is because of the... Oh, yeah, the intelligence, too. The great intelligence, yeah. yeah. I'm imagining this is um, maybe partly also due to the return of Web of Fear. There was yeah. sort of a resurgence of the Second Doctor's era around this time. Right. That was the big thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll have another thing in this episode or soon in this oh, okay. season. I don't know. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Horrible weather. To start with. <laughs> How are we looking? Yeah, well, guess which country we're in. <laughs> Excellent. Because we have another, another historical perhaps? Judging by the technology at least. November 25th, 1974. Okay. 1904. Not that far back then. John Pertwee's last year, he's just about to regenerate, I guess, into uh. Baker. <laughs> I'm talking to the spirit that inhabits this house. Are you there? Ah, Can you hear me? Got spirits and ghosts. I'm speaking to the lost soul that abides in this place. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Who's this gonna be? Boom! <laughs> yep. Hello. I'm looking for a ghost. You are. You are. Ghostbusters. Uh, okay. So we've got this kind of episode then. <laughs> Again, it's this kind of story of Doctor Who doesn't really do very much. Haunted mm. houses, ghosts. Yeah. We had one like it in Sarah Jane. Yes. That's kind of what I'm thinking yes. of. So, yeah. Eternity Trap. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. By Neil Cross. Neil Cross did. Bring us a back attack. I'm the doctor. Oh, right. Okay. And I just noticed the TARDIS doors opening. Yeah, that, yeah. That's part of the intro we yeah. go into today. Yeah. Okay. Our ministry got wind of what's going on down here. <laughs> Sent me to check that everything's in order. They don't have the right. Don't worry, Governor. I'll be out very here in very 70s thing, isn't it? Oh, in Doctor oh, Who. There's a man from the ministry. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. yeah. Except he's the doctor this time. <laughs> <laughs> Not Mr. Chin. Ministry? But I haven't heard anything about this! I wonder if we have seen that exterior before. It does kind of look familiar, but then there's so many. We've seen a lot like it. Yeah, there's so many like that in the UK that it could just be anything. This is actually your house. Yeah. Guilt, pain, and sorrow. And... Doctor? Yes. <laughs> you were. The Caliban Gast. She's mentioned in local Saxon poetry. It appeals to the Gast for the love of God. Stop screaming. Uh, Witch of the well. I just realised October well. is tomorrow. We this just could have waited a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a good uh, yeah. introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're coming. What? Can you see me? Look at my face. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that did not look like a ghost. Again, scenes that are entirely lit by candle. I was just, well. I was just thinking. Cameras yeah, are good I mean, enough now. Yeah, sure. Is he really from the ministry? You got the right demeanor. <laughs> Capricious. He could be from a ministry. Really? <laughs> He's from a ministry, not yeah. a ministry. Here we go. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright. Oh. I'd rather have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 
Honestly, it's the 11th most disgusting <laughs> thing ever invented. Don't trust him. There's a sliver of ice in his heart. Mm. Laura! Doesn't like me. The tortoise is like a cat. <laughs> it's slow to trust. We'll get there in the end. I've got a feeling the TARDIS could, like, just see. It's got an I exterior guess. camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Not, not in that yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really feel like, is the camera on the outside? Is it in the light or the... I don't know where on the exterior it is. Yeah, well that's, that's kind of why. Uh, that looks a bit boisterous. I think it brings out my eyes. Makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> oh! Hey. Yeah, need a better look at that. Ah, yeah! You remember this, this <laughs> yeah, spacesuit now? <laughs> yeah. We're going to literally every year possible. It's not That's the same way. It's not the same mashup from Black Orchid, is it? I don't think. Is it the exact same? The, the Doctor War? No, maybe it doesn't, it, a bit, yeah. it doesn't look quite the same, but the, the helmet, I definitely. No. What's wrong? They may have remade it. Then what are we? What can we possibly be? You are the only mystery worth solving. Yeah. I'd be Just insulted remember. if somebody <laughs> called me that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you're good for <laughs> is worth solving. I'd be really upset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, put it like that. <laughs> but I'm just remembering that yeah. Yeah, we don't actually know. Yeah. Everything ends? No, not everything. Not love. Not always. Right. Her name is Hilla de Court. She's a pioneer, a time traveller, or at least she will be in a few hundred years. Time travel is not possible. The paradox is oh. themselves by and large. You're no, talking to the wrong home. person. Well, we need some sturdy rope and a blue crystal from Metabolis 3. That's some Kendall cake. Metabolis. Yeah, and that's it's near Metabolus three. <laughs> Metabolus three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like told him how to pronounce it. I think that's probably what happened oh, there. Oh, okay. From Metabolus three. <laughs> well, what does it do? This implanted in the spiders as well, didn't they? With the psycho, the guy with, at the beginning, where he has the Metabolus crystal and. No. Joe oh, sends it in and well, yeah. maybe it's that uh that fungus stuff. <laughs> that didn't come from beyond the stars, that's not a meteorite. Maybe maybe it's uh, wrong. The crystal never been Oh uh, there you go. Hey well, well, well. Hmm. Well, Which would have been broadcast like, like around when this episode is happening. <laughs> Planet of the Spider, she said. Yes. Well, that was the last yeah. uh, story, so... Yeah, that is... Yeah. I'm talking to the lost soul that abides in this place. Oh. Uh, this mirrors back to whatever it is. Okay, yeah. Mirror into the pocket dimension. Oh. <laughs> well... Oh, we can, okay, we do need a rope to get down there then. Oh! Not ideal. 
Space across dimensions. This isn't a ghost story, it's a love story. Sorry to interrupt the rest of your life. So, <laughs> tiny favour to ask. Um, yep. Just go through that torment again. Here she comes. Oh, this again as well. Oh, you just <laughs> that's it. You I, meant it. To, I meant to just flash pause, but that didn't happen. The Doesn't DVD's matter. closed. <laughs> <laughs> I switched um, up the entire DVD. Okay. Oh, oh, what an interesting place to end it. <laughs> um, yeah. What was that episode called? Hide. Hide. Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, if you're working leather. <laughs> <laughs> Not that sort of fight. Yeah, I, I thought it might be the other one. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that was a bit of a strange uh, way to end it. Yeah. Just to leave it at that. Oh, yeah. lights. Need lights. Lights? I've just Camera. I, camera's done. No. <laughs> Camera, <laughs> lights. lights. Yeah, action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we've got to make, make sure it's in perfect darkness. We have to do the camera before we put the lights on. Cats. Cats. <laughs> lights. <laughs> action. <laughs> Oh, okay. I've got a seven. You've got a what six. What colour is that? Black. Neutral, neutral seven. Neutral. Neutral seven. You've gone unsure and fun. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Light. Light pink. Yeah. It's almost. I would say it's almost nostalgic to the point at which I'm uncertain about it. Really? That's part. That's why you're uncertain. Partly. Not entirely, but partly. Okay. So go on. You. You go first with your seven. Okay. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I was, it was, yeah, as you said, we've not really had many sort of haunted house or nah. ghost stories, even though it feels like we've been in a similar setting before, but it's not always about, you know, sort of the the supernatural, or as it turns out, pocket damage. Yeah. Um, yeah, I found that twist on it to be pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and... <laughs> Okay, I, I, I just have to say, um, so with it turning out that um, the the ghost, I guess, was a time traveller who was possibly uh, like related to them, yes. like a like a descendant. Yeah. yeah. Um, and with them talking about, I think yeah, Emma saying something about like love not ending or yeah. something. Um, <laughs> it. I recently rewatched Interstellar. Right. Which. In which, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, basically, in it, in it, there's a similar kind of idea that love transcends dimensions. Okay. And this reminded me of that. You think they sort of kind of Interstellar stole that idea from this episode of Doctor Who? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't. Probably not. Um, <laughs> it, it wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't listen. It would not be the first time Hollywood has nicked ideas off Doctor Who. <laughs> um. No, I, I don't think so, but, I mean, 
It's just really interesting that, that similarity. Uh, I don't think it's that. Them so close. No, I don't think it's that obscure a concept or theme. No. That I guess. two people could, two writers could write about that. I guess. It's not a very obscure theme. It's not even a very sci fi theme. I, I guess, guess dimensions, okay, sure. Yeah. But, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's not... I think that twist for me is, what, again, another reason why I'm uncertain about it, because I actually think it's done very well, but I don't think it's a very inventive twist. Sure. Okay. It's done well, and it's built up, and the metaphors are in there, the parallels with the... Yeah. The two, um, with Emma and... Um, what's he called? <laughs> I don't remember his name. Um, yeah. It's done very well. It's just not that interesting to me. Okay, sure. Um, sure. And w- why would the the monster that's in the parallel universe be so, like, aggressive and deliberately scary? The one we saw at the very yeah. end. Why would it just sort of run around and knock yeah. the Doctor over and yell at it and do all the banging noises? I don't, I don't really... Hmm. It's true, it's not actually... And then at the end... Explain that <laughs> yeah. until... Yeah. Like, I don't really understand why they would... Like, that's Hiller's partner, I guess, or... What? Is that what... No, that's not what The monster. Really. Remind me why they go back at the very end. At the very end. Yeah. Because there's two monsters. One... There's two monsters? Okay. Yeah. Right. There's one in the house, which is the one that held Clara's oh, hand. Oh, they're connected! And then there's one in the pocket universe. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, and they have to be brought together yeah like Hilla was with her great 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 well I think more yeah. so like Emma is with the uh, Emma's with okay uh, yeah I think that's the parallel that, Emma and the guy yeah that yeah that's probably one thing that was that I was maybe a little not as keen on is that whole romance aspect yeah maybe? that's what I'm saying I think, yeah, I think okay, it's actually right, done quite getting, well yeah. okay, with the parallels quite, yeah. okay but the whole twist of it oh, it's not a ghost story it's a love story it's like well, okay, all right. Then. But you know, I'm just that's my reaction. Okay. It's not an oh kind of reaction, which it should be. Okay. It's a like, uh uh-huh. okay. <laughs> That's my reaction. To I, it. I think I was kind of in the middle. <laughs> uh. I was kind of, yeah, I was kind of in the middle. It's like, ah, right, I see what you're doing. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, I wasn't amazed yeah but I, I wasn't groaning yeah like, it's not I, I guess you were I wasn't groaning I wasn't going like uh. <laughs> it was more like a oh right <laughs> yeah. okay yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, right. I'm yeah. kind of a similar way um yeah yeah for me it was yeah for me it was just the, the general atmosphere and the ideas oh, that they were playing with made. that really made this for me and yeah. it was it was yeah I enjoyed it. The candle lit scenes, the smoke in the forest, it's really, really good looking. Yeah. Um, and even the CGI, yeah. the weird effects on the monster, it's re- it is very, very well made again. It's a really <laughs> well directed episode, I think, mm-hmm. and a well acted. Only uh, four characters? Five characters. Yeah. Four kind of, for most of it. <laughs> kind of like the last one. Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, one location and uh, a few... Yes, I think there were more people in the last one, but yeah. I guess, I guess but this is very similar, much, much more. Like, like fewer main... Well, yeah, this is actually, yeah, smaller. Um, yeah, it's actually not... Yeah, it's not far off of the last one in terms of just the... It's similar yeah. time periods as well, actually. <laughs> yeah. The 80s, we've now gone to the 70s. Yeah. I think we'll be in the 60s next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually that's yeah that's another very interesting thing. Yeah, that we we just watched two episodes, kind of similar. Yeah, maybe so placement people. wise, well, similar in uh, the story is completely different, I think. But oh well, in terms yeah. of yeah, the claustrophobia and the, the atmosphere, maybe yeah, yeah, the type of episode it is. Yeah, although again, this is going for more like tension building rather than I think the last one, which is a bit more fast paced than this mm. not that this this is fine I think the, the pacing's actually fine in this but but yeah so in, for the nostalgia stuff there's so much callbacks I think it's almost detrimental actually do you think uh, or I'm not, again I'm unsure to the point where I'm unsure if it's detrimental okay there's obviously the orange suit that they bring back 
Yeah. Is right. the metabolist crystals <laughs> and the thing that the doctor that the doctor puts on Emma's head for her to yeah. there's the I've Harmony referenced for some reason. Um, oh, w- remind me what I've Harmony. That's yeah. the thing in the center of the TARDIS, right? And um, the master's always trying to open the I've Harmony. Right. In okay. the movie, Deadly Assassin. Okay. The master's always doing something with the Eye of Harmony. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, it, it is coming back to me a little bit. Um, um, okay. There's a lot of things like that. There's a few others as well. But just like, mm. well, why is this... <laughs> it, you didn't need to. <laughs> but okay. To those me, are off the top of my head that I can remember. To me, it didn't really feel particularly... Uh, out, like It didn't particularly stand out in that way. Uh, to me, no, it's know, fine. Didn't feel that pull backy. It's fine. Because I was, I was thinking you might give it a nostalgic in your uh, score. Well, so it obviously did then. Well, not for me personally, but you were sort of pointing out. <laughs> things, <laughs> right. Okay. Like, yeah, <laughs> like when we're talking about the ministry. You know, yeah, and, but even that, yeah, yeah. It's from the ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it felt like a a very. 70s kind of episode. Yeah. Um, I believe it was inspired a lot by this, the film called The Stone Tape. Which um, I don't know if we have talked about it. It's something that Nigel Neal wrote. Quatermass. Right. Yeah. Um, as one of his films, I think. Stone Tape. Which is a similar right. idea that there's like the ghosts are in, like, in the walls. But yeah, it, it, even just beyond the references, it does feel like eternity trap and just it's reminiscent of yeah. these old ghost stories that we've had yeah I don't think I it's guess like, that's yeah. just ghost stories yeah yeah uh, yeah oh, okay. um sure anything else I would... oh the the set it it was the castle they have used it before but not not for anything that we thought it was oh. it was um in the Santaran two part the David Tennant one Oh. It's the it's the academy that he goes to in that. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't put that together, but no, that's not where I expected. Either. But it has been used before. <laughs> yeah, but well, as we said, they may just look similar. I, they all, all, yeah, they all look similar. Similar period build, I think, can't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was Hyde. It was. It was. <laughs> That, yeah, I don't mean to pick on the title all the time. You don't like this title, but how? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it's very, very tenuous. Is the link, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. What's doing the hiding? <laughs> well, I I think it's supposed to like the monsters are hiding, right? But like, why? I'm not, I don't know. If you want the doctor to give you a lift back, don't hide from him and terrify him. Like, I don't know, maybe he doesn't know it's doing it, but... I don't know. Yeah, and the fact that it just ends with... The ending is... Mid, in mid-rescue. The ending yeah. is sudden. I guess we just have to assume that they make it. <laughs> yeah. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I will say, actually, the, the, the ending was interesting, with the Doctor asking Emma about Clara. Yeah, that's why they went in the that's first a, place. That was actually a pretty good, um, not twist, but a, just a little thing on the end to bring it mm. back to the, you know, to... To the overall story. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It does bear the question, what did the Doctor tell Clara in order to get her to like, go there? In the first place. What was the there conversation? Are We're going to find some ghosts. I, I fancy doing some ghost hunting. Let's go to this specific place for it. You know? Oh, they just happened to... And she was like, like yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder what that conversation was. Because it is odd that in the episode she doesn't question ever, why are we here? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we could say that about a lot of them. Well, no, I don't think so. Usually they have some goal and they've gone there by accident or whatever. Yeah. Like in the last one, they went to Vegas. Yeah. Ended up on a submarine at the North Pole. 
Mm. Okay. So it was an accident that he got thrown into this, whereas here it's just... They knew they were obviously going there deliberately. Mm. So there must have been some conversation <laughs> about it. Yeah. Where she agreed. Possibly. So what did the doctor yeah. tell her? That's, my, that's yeah, what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they need, to, they need to explain more of it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was Hyde. Mm. So... Episode 10 next time. Yeah. Outro. Outro.